Suddenly he awoke and was running raw in raw-seamed hot khaki, his sweat heavy, stumbling across a field of clods towards a green hedge that dazzled with rifle fire, hearing bullets smacking the belly out of the air. He lugged a rifle numb as a smashed arm, the patriotic tear that had brimmed in his eye, sweating like molten iron from the centre of his chest. In bewilderment then, he almost stopped. In what cold clockwork of the stars and nations was he the hand pointing that second? He was running like a man who had jumped up in the dark and runs listening between his footfalls for the reason of his still running, and his foot hung like statuary in mid-stride. Then the slot slashed furrows threw up a yellow hair that rolled like a flame and crawled in the threshing circle, its mouth wide, open silent, its eyes standing out. He plunged past with his bayonet towards the green hedge. King, honour, human dignity, etc. dropped like luxuries in a yelling alarm to get out of that blue crackling air, his terror's touchy dynamite.